Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timo Parker. I'm a vocal coach and my mission is to help you improve your singing voice. Today I'm going to give you five tips to improve your singing. I'm going to include a bonus tip at the end of this video because I found a lot of my students making the same mistake. So I'm going to share it with you and hopefully it will help you. Number one, very important, stop using air pressure. Air pressure is not really great for singing. Focus that you stay relaxed, especially in your belly, so that you don't create any pressure in there because this pressure will come up here again and it really destroys the sound and it's not really healthy for your singing voice so try to avoid pressure at all costs. Number two, choose a comfortable range. So that means if you're singing a song and it's just too high you can't get it just for now because there are no instant results. This instrument has to be built. It takes time. Acceptance is a big big point when you learn how to sing in the process of building your instruments, you need patience. So just transpose the song into a lower key. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my theory video over here. But basically just sing the song for now a little lower. You will sound better and you will feel better. While you have fun with the music, you can concentrate on building your voice and eventually sing the song in the original key. Number three, hold your breath. I actually gonna do a separate video about that. So check it out here if you're interested on how to breathe while you sing. So what I mean by that is that you want to sing between the inhale and the exhale. There's a moment when you inhale where something stands still, nothing is happening. I'm still holding my breath and then I breathe out. In that moment, we don't want to have any pressure within the body. We just want to comfortably breathe in and hold this moment, this particular moment. So try to keep the ribcage open while you sing, which basically gives you the opportunity to hold back your breath and you don't have to push it all out while you sing. Number four, keep your larynx low. It is very important because your instrument, your vocal cords are inside of your larynx and in order to have the biggest room possible, so the biggest instrument possible, it is really, really important to keep your larynx in the same position where it's resting at or even lower. I'm already talking about this topic in another video, so if you want, check it out here. So what we want to do is that we keep the focus on the larynx to keep it in the same position or even lower, especially if you sing high. It is really, really important that you keep the larynx at the same position, maybe, if possible, even lower when you sing high. So this way the vocal cords can vibrate freely and there is no, nothing in between that interrupts the sound or makes it uncomfortable. So keep an eye on your larynx when you sing and just avoid that it's going higher and higher the higher you sing. You want to keep it the same position or lower. Number five, it's more of a psychological aspect of singing, but it's a part of it. Don't be too self-aware when you sing. That's a really big point because we have this voice in our head that tells us you're not good enough or you can't do this or there are people watching. You have to find a way to silence this voice and just focus on the process of singing. And a really important part is that whenever you sing, whenever you make music, that you enjoy it. That's the most important thing because this enjoyment, this feeling that you get, will contribute to the fact that you show up every day at your instrument, you will sing every day because you enjoy it. So focus first on your inner happiness, on your inner feeling great about what you're doing before you even consider asking for feedback or anything. Feedback is important and it can be good, but focus on yourself first and don't be too concerned or too self-aware on how you might sound or how other people perceive you. So don't overthink it, just do it and enjoy yourself. And we come to the bonus tip of this video. One mistake I see a lot of my students doing is that they sing in the wrong volume. Find your volume. Don't be too loud because if you sing too loud, most of the times you incorporate air pressure. And if you remember, we don't want to use air pressure. So try to find the sweet spot where not singing too low, that it's getting almost hard to sing the song and also not too loud. Try to find the volume that suits you best and stay with it. The rule of thumb is the lower you sing, the less volume you're going to have more likely and the higher you sing, the more volume you're going to have. So it's actually harder to sing in a low volume in a higher register. So just find the right volume for you that works. Stick to it, play around with it, but don't overdo it. So if you're singing with a microphone, let it work for you. Put the level up, the volume up, so you have to do less. And it has nothing to do with you being lazy 
or you don't have a powerful enough voice. It's just you using your instrument the way it is intended at the moment, but with continuous training, your voice will grow and you will realize that with the same effort, you're gonna sing much louder, much higher, and maybe you don't even need a microphone anymore. Who knows? If you've made it to the end of this video, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel. There are more videos coming up about voice training, about singing, about music, so don't miss out. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye guys.